Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to convert SNES ROMs into CIA files and then install them on your DS. So this normally does not work on the old 3DS or old 2DS, but in this video, it will work on all consoles. So what you guys want to do is just get your 3DS. It can literally be any model. This works on all of them. Take out your SD card and then connect it to your PC. Now once you guys are on your computer, what you will need to do is you actually need to find three different types of images for your ROM. So the ROM I'm using is Castlevania Dracula X. So I'm just going to do this on a Google image search and then it's going to come up with all the images. So what we need is a banner, an icon and a label. So this would be perfect for our banner. So what you would do is just right click, save image as, as you can see I've already got one. I'm just gonna save it as banner. Next, we will need an icon image. Now this looks perfect for the icon of the game. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already got one of these. I use this one. So what I'm gonna do, right click, save image as, and just call it icon. Now it can be a JPEG or a PNG file. It really doesn't matter. We are just going to save it. The last thing we need is a label file. Now normally a game label will come up. If you just type in label at the end, just like this and press enter as you can see it's come up with a label file we can use so we're going to save this right click save image as and make sure you call it label and mine is a png file so i'm just going to overwrite it so now we have got our three images we can head over to our downloads file so we go banner icon and label and then we also have the rom now it's entirely up to you where you get your roms from you can back them up off your own cartridges if you wish to but once you've got these four files so the rom and the three images you want to go over to the link in the description and this is the software we will use to get this cia working on our old or new 3ds and this does also work on any 3ds model so what we're going to do scroll down click old snes.zip and just download the whole zip file once that has finished downloading, we just want to go back over to our PC's downloads folder, find our zip file that we downloaded, right click and select extract here. Now what we need to do, go to our original ROM, right click, rename it and just copy this name. Now we're going to right click, new and create a folder and we're just going to press Control V just to paste in our Castlevania Dracula X name and we need to select the three images and the ROM and drag and drop them into the folder. We can now delete the zip file because we don't need it anymore and we simply want to drag our file folder into the old SNES file folder. Once it's in there, we need to drag it into input. Now make sure you have the name of the game copied. You can always rename it again and just make sure you've copied it. So we're going to go back. We need to double click on this file right here, make underscore SNES 9x.bat, just double click on it. Now it's going to come up exactly like this. What we need to do is press Control V and enter our name and then press enter. For the description, we can put in anything we want. Um, we can leave it as the name if you want to, or just say Castlevania. It's entirely up to you, but just press enter. Publisher, we're just going to put Nintendo and then press enter. Products code, you can just put in some random numbers, press enter. It's exactly the same for the unique ID, put in random numbers, press enter. Now just give it a few seconds and it will compile it into a CIA file for you. So now it says press any key to continue, literally press any key. Would you like to build another CIA? Uh, press Y if you wish to, you've got more than one game. I've only got one game, so I'm going to press N for no. Now we will find our CIA in the CIA's output folder. So here it is. Now once we have this, simply right click, go to copy, make sure your 3DS's SD card is plugged in. We're looking for the CIA's file or any kind of folder you want to put it into, but I'm going to put it into this one. So right click, paste, wait for it to copy across. And once it's done, we can go back onto our 3DS. All right guys, so back off your PC, you just need to put your SD card back into your console. Now once you're on your 3DS or 2DS and it's powered on, you guys want to go ahead and just open up FBI. Once you're on FBI, you want to press A on SD card, scroll down and find your CIA file. Mine is in the CIA's folder, so I'm going to press A and now I'm going to find it. Here it is, Castlevania Dracula X. Press A 
and then press A on install CIA. Press A for yes, and now just give it a few seconds to install. And now once it's done, you can just tap OK, press B to go back all the way to the main menu, and press start to exit. So now we need to find the new software on our home screen, so let's just tap on OK, and we can now unwrap it. So mine seems to have glitched up a bit, for some reason the banner or icon isn't working, I'm not sure, I might try and get that working again, I don't know why it's done that. Anyway, once you've got it installed, just press A to open it up. So the game should just load up like normal, we have an FPS counter right here, mine is currently on 60 FPS, if we tap the touch screen it does come up with a lot of um, options we can do and it basically pauses the game so you can press B to go back and then the game will continue playing. So let me just show you some gameplay, the games work perfectly fine with like uh, full working sound, no lag, let's just start a new game real quick and as you guys can see the games work perfectly fine with sound running as well and the FPS is staying at pretty much 60 it doesn't really drop at all I think it depends if you maybe for playing a more advanced game it might drop a bit but on games like this it should be completely fine so we're just going to tap the bottom screen bring up the menu so we've got emulator you can save it as well you can use left and right to navigate through we've got options this is where you can change the screen size so as you can see we can choose expand to fit um, we've got font, you can change the font, frame skips, volume, we've got cheats as well, this is where you can just use the um, dot cheat files, we're just going to go back and press B to resume, and as you can see the screen has actually changed size, so we can change it as well, let's just go on options, let's go on maybe, what should we do, full screen? Let's get B to go back, and that's on full screen. So that is pretty much it for this video. Really good way to install SNES games on your 3DS or 2DS. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.